Using Bitmoji starts with the Snapchat website. Go over to the Snapchat website and make sure that you've downloaded the app where you will create your personalized Bitmoji. Click on the app and go to the home screen. And then travel up and select your existing Bitmoji icon or to create a new one. In this case, I have one. So I'm going to change my outfit. And I do want to say a word about making sure that you dress and configure your Bitmoji for your audience. In this case, I've gone with a business casual dress that can be used anywhere. Bits and pieces of your outfit will be shown to your audience as you're configuring them. And you can see there's designers, fashion, running track suits, jeans of all sorts. Let's try on a pair of shorts. And I think something else different for the top. I think I'd like to change my shoes. There you go. So this is a perfect example of how you do not want to dress your Bitmoji. But we're just doing this to demo your different options. I'm actually not going to save this because I put a lot of care into picking out my Bitmoji's outfit. Go ahead, save and exit. And now you're going to travel back over to the Chrome Web Store. And it's here that you want to locate the Bitmoji extension, which is so popular, it's right up at the front. And you want to click on that because we're going to add that. We, and you see the button at the top, Add to Chrome Browser. But you can find out more information, see the reviews, decide if it's for you or not. So we're installing it into our Chrome browser. And once it's done, you can see it appears up at the top. Also using the little extension icon, if it disappears. Now, if I click on the extension icon, I can pull up this particular extension or any extension at any time. Now I've been taken over to this home screen, and the next step is that I actually need to sign into Snapchat with the web browser as well, because it's signing into the Chrome extension that you have just installed. And you'll notice below it, it's talking about how there is now a standalone Bitmoji application. So if you're not a Snapchat fan, you can simply use that and configure one. So you're stepping through this process, you're logging in, you're signing in, and you're approving for the Chrome extension to be using the Bitmoji app. Now, once you get to this screen, you are approved and you're ready to go into Google Drive and the different applications and use it. So let's take a look at that. Here we are in slides. So if we travel up to the extension drop down, now we see Bitmoji is located there. Click on the Bitmoji, and you can begin by scrolling down, seeing if you like those options, or you can create your own by typing in the text. It can't be too many characters, it can't be too long, or it just simply kind of stops working. Let's go with tater tots. Hey! And you can see some of these are very kind of silly, tongue in cheek. Let's go back up. This is the lemon head I created. I'm kind of loving this one. If I want to take a Bitmoji and download it, I go travel to download and you'll see the only option I have here is the current slide. If I save an entire slide, that could make my Bitmoji a little tough to use. So I'm going to copy and paste this because I do want to show you how you could save it as a standalone. I'm in Google Drawing, and that checkerboard background indicates transparency, which means I'd be able to take my Bitmoji, save it out, and extract it from the background and place it on any other document that I would like to. So even if I want to pull it into another program, etc. Now when I go to download PNG, that would be the file extension that's going to give you that transparency. I could email it or attach it someplace else. 
because if you're within Google Docs, you can copy and paste your image into Docs or Sheets or anything like that. But if you go outside, you would want that. Now we're in Gmail. So I could paste it from the sheet. But now you'll notice down at the bottom of my email, there's a little icon there. If I click on the icon, it brings up the extension. And I can search. This is perfect for Karen. Yeah? Whatever. 